Hey there. Okay, we're in a kind of a fucked up orientation here. I did buy these things, nut splitters. So rather than cutting off the U-joints or the U-bolts that are under the 74 Valiant here, in order to get this uh, shock plate um, pressed in with a new stud so that I can finish the goddamn shock replacement, which had been going on since before Christmas, um, I thought I'd give them a try. Now I'm seeing something here that's not so good. If you look at these things, this has to go around the nut properly in order for the cutter to work. And I'm not sure that this plate offers the kind of access that might be required. So before I go to cut anything, even if there's one or two of them that are easy to get at, I'm worried that uh, I'll still be left with two and then I still got to get the cutter and all that kind of bullshit. Also, once I cut those, the springs are going to come down and the axle's going to jam up into the car. So I will still be needing... Well, I'm going to have to move where the jack stands are holding the car in order to do that or you know I'll die or something else will happen so anyway I'm gonna have a look at it before uh, before we can get into it I'll switch your view here I didn't even learn about these lock splitters until I subscribed to a channel that is all about our nut splitters <laughs> and I've already given it away a bit until I subscribed to a channel that was all about uh, lock picking, and uh, the guy I like a lot is the lock picking lawyer, super smart, and uh, but he's been using tools like this to uh, compromise locks uh, physically, when that is quicker than um, picking them. So yeah, that might still work accidentally. And that it can get around the back side of the nut and then this hardened ramp that comes down on so that might work I'm not sure it's engaging every single point upon the nut but it'll probably be pryable afterward so let's see if I can repeat that You can see like everything that can be in the way is potentially in the way. Yeah, I think that one's doable too. It's a little bit questionable that we're getting enough of the pressure on the back there because this, this splitter can't work unless it's highly supported. I think those corner ones that I just did can do and I don't I can't see this one as well as you can. But I think these corner ones are probably ones that are going to be... And here you also have to be able to get a wrench on the back of this. So if you can't... It's unfortunate because I really... In order to have to do this with torch or with a... Uh, it doesn't matter. I've already said that I cannot get a hacksaw in here. I don't mind doing the hacksaw with the gas tank in, but uh, once you have to get a Dremel or a death wheel or any of that shit, but uh, I think this thing will only be able to do a maximum of two, maybe three. But I think there's a few of them here. Even if I've got the... Uh, clearance necessary. I don't think I can ever get a... well that one's doable. This one's doable this way. It might be doable that way. I can get a wrench somehow on there. Not very much... not with very much uh, throw distance. Could happen, I think. 
There's a bigger one in the kit, but of course that's not going to make any any issues. Uh -huh. Yeah, that doesn't make any of the clearance issues better. It just makes them all worse. So, I don't know if I'm going to do this right now or not. Gonna have to move the jack stands out of the way here and because they're currently the jack stands are currently holding up the car by the axle itself once I cut these off the axles coming down or the axles going up and the car is coming down <laughs> obviously option B no no bueno so I'm gonna give her a bit of thought not the quite the thinking I like on Sunday morning. Anyway, I'm gonna give it a thought. That's the plan. We'll see. Take care. Bye. I don't even know if you can see. Oh yeah, you can see. Bye.